trust me when I say this, there's a problem coming. I've come from humble beginnings to big time boxing. Not many people come from like the, the proper bottom. You know, I'm finally on the path where I'm going places. Boxing to me is everything. I'm not very good at anything else. This is the dream. This is Portsmouth. This is us. I'm very proud to be flying the flag for Portsmouth Boxing at the moment. It really does motivate me to do well because I know that I'm being very well supported. Ronowski, you've got a problem on your hands. Like you've been here in Fratton Park, your support is continuously growing, isn't it? And the dream for you one day to not just fight here, but to fight for a world title here. Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd love to headline a show in my city, especially on that pitch there. You know, it's a dream of mine. Um, and it's, it was a dream that was always spoken about, but that dream's becoming more of a reality with, with every win I'm having. How motivated are you to succeed for the city of Portsmouth? I'm extremely motivated. I'm very proud to be flying the flag for Portsmouth Boxing at the moment. Um, the city really do get behind me at the moment as well. So um, it really does motivate me to do well because I know that I'm being very well supported. How long have you been coming here to Fratton Park as a fan? Oh, I've been coming for years and years and years. And obviously nowadays the, the team really get behind me, the club really get behind me as well. So yeah, it makes me very, very proud. I want to talk a little bit about, about yourself and when you were growing up, uh, just take things back for us. Because as a child, you were quite timid, quite, quite, quite shy perhaps. Is that how you would describe yourself as a kid? Yeah, I was quite a shy boy. I was quite a good boy at school and stuff like that. Um, like obviously people don't see the shy side of my key. Like I'm still shy to this, this day, but um, yeah, boxing really brings my confidence out. And uh, your dad had a few amateur fights, didn't he? And you were yeah. in the gym with him from a young age. Was it something that you enjoyed being around from a young age? What was it about boxing that, when you, when you think back to some of those really early memories that you remember enjoying? Yeah, I was in boxing. I was learning like my stance and that from a very young age, and I was in gyms going like with my dad probably from five years old. Um, I think with me, I was always ever going to be a boxer. It's the family business, you know. So uh, I'm I'm extremely lucky to be in a boxing family. Obviously, my brother's a a professional boxer as well. So yeah, I've, I feel very fortunate to have had the upbringing around boxing. I've been coming to, I was going to professional boxing shows from very early age, um, behind the scenes and stuff. So, so yeah, I feel lucky. What is boxing to you? Boxing to me is everything. I don't really know. I'm not very good at anything else. You know, I'm, I'm not very good at anything else. So I'll just channel everything into what I am good at. Um, especially nowadays when like I set out to to be a good role model to my daughter, but now I'm a role model to a lot of people in my city, um, and like especially lately I'm I'm inspiring people with my story, like come from nothing, and um, now I'm on the, like a big time boxing event. So, so yeah, boxing is absolutely everything for me. Being the the shy boy, the, the good boy, as you just said there, how easy is it for you? to flick that switch and become the problem, Marky McKinson? Is, is that during the ring walk? At what point does that switch flip for you? Um, I'm always confident when I, when I accept a fight because I'm, I'm really confident in my team, I'm confident in my ability. Um, but as soon as my ring walk comes on, my ring music comes on, that's when confident Mikey comes out, you know? Um, that's when like, it's my time. Um, and every, everyone knows me as the, 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 the extremely confident lad uh, from Portsmouth. Um, so yeah, like the shyness is really my personal life. I'm, I'm a little bit shy, but when it comes to my boxing, I'm on the complete opposite. Are you more motivated to succeed, do you feel, because of the, the way you've come? You've not had anything given to you on a plate. Yeah, somebody said the other day, I've come from humble be beginnings to big time boxing, and it's true. I like. Not many people come from like the the proper bottom, like in boxing to the top, and I'm on my way to the top now, and I'm finally where I want to be in this sport. You know, I'm finally on the path where I'm going places. Just reflecting on the fight last time, obviously you've been proudly wearing your WBO global belt today, but 
that fight with Chris Congo on paper was a genuine 50-50, but you said it was that night that your career, your life would, would really change. How do you reflect on that whole experience? Yeah, before, before the fight, I was saying my career starts March 27th, and I really do believe that, you know, it was my first, my first fight on the big stage. I was an underdog, um, had a little holiday out of it. Um, but like a lot of people backed Chris over me, like a lot of people in boxing. I was, I was seeing all the polls on Twitter and stuff like that. Nobody backed me to win. Um, and I, I, I beat him fair and square as well, you know. So like Chris is a good fighter, but I proved I'm a better fighter. And, uh, you know, like my career's only just started now. Like I say, I'm, I'm on the big stage now, finally. It took me 20 fights to be here, but I plan on staying here. Your power, uh, two knockouts from 20 wins. I think people maybe sometimes think you're not a puncher, you know, maybe they're inclined to come forward, especially in the early stages of fights like Chris Congo did. Your power is something that's certainly overlooked, isn't it? Yeah, in the, in the Chris Congo fight, for example, people were saying, oh, he started fast and he dropped him early. But you look at my record, I've dropped my last three opponents in the first round. They've all been unbeaten. Uh, I think I've dropped, I think, six of my last seven or five of my last six. So people do underestimate my power. Uh, I can dig, I know I can dig, and I will prove that to people in, in the future. But that doesn't matter. I'm beating these guys with relatively ease at the moment. So, um, yeah, them, them knockouts will come. <laughs> they will come. And, and then I reckon when they do come, I'll get a lot more respect on my name. The 147 pound division is red hot, isn't it, domestically? But I'm interested from your perspective, what do you believe sets you aside mentally, physically, from the rest of your welterweight rivals? In the UK especially, there's no one like me. And I don't think there's anybody on my level. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still learning a lot. I'm still developing. Um, and each fight I have, I'm just getting better and better. Um, so who knows where I can be in a year or two's time. But at the moment, I'm happy with my development and I'm excited for my future. Let's talk about fight camp. How excited are you to be a part of that this summer? I watched it last year and, and at the time I'd not got my break and I was frustrated and I was just thinking, I wish I could get on shows like this and now I'm finally here, you know? So it's great to be a part of fight camp, but I'm not here to be a part of it. I'm here to, to really shine and, and stand out on, on fight camp free and that's what I plan on doing. You've had a bit more time, haven't you, to, to study Ranowski now with your dad and what you can sort of expect to see from what you have been watching, what sort of fight you're expecting and how do you rate him as a fighter? Um, people look at his uh, only defeat to Josh Kelly, but since then he's bounced back very well. Um, he's coming off a couple of very good knockout wins, so he's going to be confident, he's going to be game um, and he's going to try and knock me out, but they all do. They're all confident, they're all game, they all try and knock me out. Um, it's a fight, as long as I'm prepared to the best I can, it's a fight I can definitely win. Um, and it's a fight I can definitely look very good in winning too. And we know where you want to go in this sport. You need opponents like Ranowski, don't you? You, you beat Congo. Ranowski, I would say, certainly is a step up from him. And it's about constantly progressing and building to get you closer to where we're sitting here today. Yeah, exactly. Um, people that know me know that I don't, I don't like sitting at the same level. I'm always trying to challenge myself and get harder fights all of the time. And this is a step up. I believe it's a step up. Um, but yeah, like if I want to be pushing on to these world level fighters, I've got to be dealing with people like Ranowski in style. You talked about Josh Kelly there a moment ago, but things got a little bit hairy, didn't they, between Conor Ben and Florian Marku, you guys all boxing at 147 pounds. How do you assess, looking at those guys, how do you assess the, the division? Um, who do I think is the, the best? Uh, I think I'm the best and I think I'm, I'm better than all three of them guys. Uh, Josh Kelly is a very talented fighter. Conor Ben is starting to become a very good fighter as well. Uh, I don't, personally, I don't think Florian is on that level yet, um, as good as them guys, or as good as us three. But, you know, he's got his chance to prove it now. Um, he does a lot of talking, uh, but fair play to him. You know, I haven't really got a bad word to say about them three at the moment, because I've got Ronowski to, to focus on and I've got my own path to, to follow. So, um, yeah, good luck to them three. It's an exciting, exciting four to be 
named with. So yeah, the, the future's exciting. You are a wise head and, and you're very realistic. How far away do you think you are from, from being here and boxing for a world title? Um, I don't know. I'm, I've got a very good world ranking at the moment. So on paper, I'm not actually far away at all. Uh, not far away at all. I, I've got full trust in my management team um, in guiding me the right way. I've got, I'm so excited to be now promoted by Matchroom. Uh, so yeah, I've got no worries my end in how my career's uh, being guided. So who knows how far away we are, but on paper, I'm, I'm very close. And uh, just talk to us about the fight itself then. How do you believe you win this fight and how do you want to win this fight? I want to stand out. I think that's the main thing. I know I can beat Ronowski, but it's, it's me. I've got to look good beating Ronowski. Um, and I think he's the type of fighter that makes me look good on my day. I think he's like he'll bring the best out of me. Um, and and yeah, and I, I, I think that I'm going to look very, very good beating him. And still? And still, of course. It was there uh, and the new before, but it's and still now. 